It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And coming up next, it's the Jets, Offensive Player of the Year. And with him, any catch could be a big one. He's the NFL leader in touchdown receptions. It's the Jets and the Bills, under the lights, on Sunday night. Autumn has come to upstate New York. Fall colors abound, and we welcome you inside Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everybody. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. We're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should. And what you have now is a full routine established. The Jets offense ready to take over here for the first time at 5-0 into the month of October. And the one this defense will need to contain is this man, their second-year wideout. As his numbers for the season just continue to rise up over 1,300 yards receiving now in the year. And how about this? Week after week, what do we say when we talk about him? 100-yard games, right? He puts them together, game in, game out. Like clockwork, expect him to deliver. Here's Wilson to throw right away. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. We look at this Buffalo defense, and they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. And the easy thought process is that stopping the run is the least of their problems because they're facing the number one passing team in the NFL. But if they don't stop the run as well, then that just opens up the pass. Taking it right down Broadway. Still going inside the 20. The way in, touchdown, New York. A great play there. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Jets have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get them about five yards. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Second and five. Here's Pacheco once again. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll come up facing third and five. Throwing is Wilson. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete, and he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Now they work this well upfield across the 45. That one 28 yards on the ground. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. Now Wilson on first down. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Jets hit a perfect 5-0 here to begin the campaign. And they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as... And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Henry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing. The route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Remember, as they try to run the ball down here, Charles, this is the number two rush defense in the league. So do you accept the challenge up front? Do you get your offensive line together, get your tight end in the ball game and say, I don't care that they're number two. Let's go ahead and show them that we can run the ball anyway. Or do you do the best thing and throw the darn thing and try and get in the end zone? Maybe that's wiser. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. To throw is Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Alan Lazard, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jets go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So here are the Jets now to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. So the celebration in the end zone, but meanwhile, we do have an injured player. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 46 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and seven. No, he didn't spike it. He faked it. Now this is picked up by the Bills. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but 
I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. And New York set to take the field. start the drive here with Pacheco. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Wilson to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Henry. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Wilson now to throw on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes us forward for about six. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. the play fake. Here's Wilson. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. Touchdown. Tyler Conklin. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before... So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Now Wilson back into his end zone. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. 
And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Complete. It's Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. And the Jets are going to get a new set of downs. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 92 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Here's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Henry. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 23. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. They go play action with Wilson. Out right, he's got Rucker. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Now it's Wilson. Finding Henry here on the crossing route. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Wilson will throw again. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row... And he's in! Touchdown, Jets! Isaiah Pacheco, his 12th rushing touchdown of the year, as his guys are able to extend their lead. offense their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago first downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten they'll start this drive out on the ground a little joke and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, 
They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. down Wilson right back to Henry and Henry's got it again and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 12 more yards for him there it's a first down these guys are running offense like you drive the pedal is down stomp down how about that back-to-back -back completions they are rolling so much for being conservative and running that football touchdown Jets a great effort there his second touchdown of the night. And the Jets will add to their fourth quarter lead. But that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. The Jets ready to get going again here on offense. But they can thank their defense for another stop. And now look at the score, where they've got the football. They're looking pretty good. They're looking excellent because now you're thinking to yourself, let's just take some time off the clock. Work it down. And, of course, you put another touchdown on the board, you pretty much say bye-bye to this one. Play calling here can be a little bit more conservative because of the lead. A little bit more conservative. The biggest thing, everyone understands how to get the ball downfield and how to stay in bounds and make sure the clock keeps running. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Here's second and seven. A handoff now for Pacheco. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. And I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision... That First and 10, here's Pacheco. And his defense here gonna burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two minute warning. They work now on second and nine. Here's Wilson. And his throw here's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there, he broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may have some points on the board when this drive is over. On third down, Wilson. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage. The offense for the Jets ready to take over. 
And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Oh, Wilson going to throw. Henry's got it out on the left side. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Charles, you think about this victory, pretty impressive. They came in facing one of the top defenses in the National Football League. Not only did they get the win, they played a clean football game, didn't have any turnovers against that great defense. Yeah, it's a terrific observation because you know they emphasize ball security, wanted to avoid making any major mistakes playing against that tough defense, and they were turnover free and took points when they were available. Excellent execution, and they did it confidently.